Okay, this is the mother thread of the new balance patch for Warcraft 3 that has just hit. I just found this, so even though I'm talking about this later and you're soon going to get my intro to the balance patch, you YouTubers, I'm adding this at the front, thanks to my YouTube editors that are helping with that. Thank you very much, appreciate it. To share some news about some of the mechanical features that got introduced to Warcraft 3. And I'll read it now. Warcraft 3's PTR is back and ready for your scrutiny. Join us in testing widescreen support, woohoo! Hero balance changes and updates to map pools for 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s and 3 for alls. We've also added some experimental modes, like 24 player support for custom games. Wow! We hope you enjoy. We'll be watching here for general feedback, the editor thread for map maker feedback and the balance and map pool thread for that topic. Details inside. And here's the installer. Widescreen support. Play 24 player support. There are new colors. Bug fixes. Clans may now be created. Known issues, unable to change resolutions in native full screen. So I guess you need to use windowed full screen. PTR only supports English. This will be the last version to support Windows XP. Warcraft 3 patch notes. Now this game is old from 2002, but the love and nostalgia is still very real. That's why you, you sub to my channel. That's why you follow Warcraft 3. So. Warcraft 3, our first love, the game that we used to play, is now once again getting looked at by Blizzard. And I knew a little bit about this, maybe a lot. Uh, not sure how much I can say yet. And I've been a little bit involved in the process, but I couldn't say anything until today. So if you have personally been told by me that I didn't know anything, I'm sorry. That's how NDAs work. So uh, let's look at what exactly is Coming, 1.29 patch, map pool and balance updates. Hail War Chiefs, here are the details on the changes to the pools and balance. Please try to keep feedback in this thread. Cheers. So first of all, there's going to be balance changes. Now this hasn't happened for a long time in Warcraft 3. And who knows what else? We're hoping here for widescreen support so that we can play on bnet again we're hoping that there won't be too many map hackers and we're hoping that the balance will spice up the gameplay a little bit to the point where we can rethink how certain things work even without it we were still learning new things about the game which is awesome 15 years later but let's see what this could be mountain king is gonna get a little bit faster okay i think demon blade or speed 310 possibly Stormbolt will get nerfed at level 2 and 3, doing slightly less damage. 15 less and 25 less. Thunderclap is getting buffed. A little bit more damage. A little bit more radius at level 1. Because it, mostly Stormbolt is always must take. Very few people go Thunderclap bash. So I suppose they wanted to balance him out a bit to create different options. I believe only Tot ever did Thunderclap bash recently on ladder. More damage at... Yeah, oh, okay. The radius was 25, 30, 35. And the damage was 60, 100, 140. So there was very little reason actually to upgrade Thunderclap quickly. The damage didn't scale up very well. It didn't change the movement or attack speed slow. And the radius remained fairly small. Now it's gonna get a little bit bigger with each level. Same, same step, but starting point is bigger. And instead of 40-40 increase in damage, it gains 55, 75, it gains 60, and then another 50. Okay. It goes up 60 and then another 50 instead of 40-40-40. So it gets worth it more to upgrade it a bit. Paladin, attack speed, cooldown. Change default from 2.2 to 2.0. That means after 2 seconds... He gets an attack instead of 2.2, so it's a buff. It's nice that they say that, just in case you were able to misunderstand it. He, so he will attack faster. Now keep in mind Paladin almost never gets used except as third hero. He There are some solo Paladin first strats against Undead. 
but they're not meta anymore. They have been used to burn Acolytes repeatedly. And second hero Paladin is very rare. And some people go Paladin Rifle first at tier 1 against Orc. But it's more of a cheese strat and doesn't really hold up for very long. So recognizing that Pala is only a third hero ever and never first second and not very commonplace. You would imagine that Paladin should become in some way a little bit more viable to maybe be first or second. Let's, so let's evaluate whether or not this achieves that. Attack speed, cooldown buff. Okay, so he attacks faster. And he moves faster. So this is move faster. This is important for heroes early game. When they're not very fast, they get run down too easily by blade, by, by demon hunter, by units, whatever. So this kind of thing helps a lot. Divine shield, less long. Okay, so they take a little bit of power out of that uh, really uninteractive experience of divinity where you burn acolytes repeatedly and they added instead a little bit of extra movement speed and damage i think that's a good change because divine shield like steam tanks like dr boom like the four mana seven seven and hs sometimes it can feel a little uninteractive just like protected in in heroes of the storm you see or or, or my f's jump uh when there's divin can you believe it in warcraft 3 at level 2 and 3, he was invincible for 30 and 45 seconds respectively. That's a good change. It's nice. Because as a third hero, Paladin often doesn't even get D-Shield. Often he does, but he also gets Holy Light and, and, and the, the Armor Aura. So that would actually buff Paladin as a third when you don't even pick it. Hmm. No. Ah. Has to be rethought everything. Blade Master. Mirror Image mana cost buff at all levels. 10 mana less. Okay. Because Mirror Image is very weak ability. So for those that don't know. It splits Blade Master into 2, 3 or 4. And the images don't do any damage. They soak up damage. But they have less HP than the original. I, I still don't know that it will get picked much to be honest but that doesn't mean it's not good to change it windwalking crit is going to be infinitely better still uh, critical strike currently if you are 40 damage with 10 from items it would do 40 plus 10 is 50 times 3 is 150 uh, change will be it no longer multiplies the items I think that, uh, I mean, that's huge, but I think it's fair. It, uh, it makes items still better on blade than on most because of his high attack speed. It makes cause of attack still better on blade than on a uh, farseer, but not multiplying with the crit. But since no change was made to Windwalk and I don't see a lot of nerfs to other races yet, uh, this will only be okay if other heroes of orc get buffed at the same time at level one and two three at level one two it doesn't make that big of a difference yet this mostly nerfs blade at level four plus i would say four plus is where you really start to feel the difference it's only okay if other things get buffed because this is this is pretty huge i think it's fair but it's huge it needs compensation i demand compensation uh, Farseer, Pharaoh Spirit, lowered XP rewarded to enemy hero. Increase unit level 1 and 2. Increase HP, wow, 250 HP, that's good. Level 2, another extra 50 as well. Well, based on what it was, so just 50 more. At level 2... What? Stats level 2, stats... Level 4 to stats level 3. Stats level 3, stats level 5 to stats level 4. I must admit I don't quite follow this. But what I do understand is that levels represent how much XP you get for something. So maybe that's what they're trying to explain here. That there's less XP gained for every level. Though it says stats, not XP. So not 100% sure. But overall, 
they're going to be a bit tankier and give less, less XP. So that really helps Farseer. Though I wouldn't say that this by itself compensates for this yet. But let's, let's go on. Chain Lightning. Level 1 buff. Decrease damage reduction per target from 0.15 to 0.10. Uh, okay, so what I understand from this is that Chain Lightning does 100 damage then 85 and then something like 62 and instead it will be 100 90 81 it's a decent decent uh, buff and that is true for every level okay that's a pretty significant buff so they're kind of trying to make both farseer and blade master viable at uh, at level one interesting I'm just going to change the game category to Warcraft until the end of this uh, uh, review. Farsight. No mana cost? Wow. What about the size? Probably still the same. So what Farsight was, was very small area, big mana cost almost no cooldown or no cooldown and then at level two it was like goblin laboratory reveal size which is big for less mana medium again no cooldown and third was almost the entire map not exactly but it's like a third of the map like huge it's insane for almost no mana 25 so essentially farsight was incredibly op at level three almost useless at level one and at level two it was kind of balanced but still kind of expensive and it doesn't really help in the fight so it was very lopsided and what this will do is you get more mana for other things so it can be a very attractive choice because of not costing mana which is very rare in warcraft 3 actually if not almost entirely unheard of but instead you have cooldowns to work with so you need to be smart about it but if the same sizes are still applicable tiny pretty big ginormous then this will still be a somewhat weak one but i guess it's fair because it's level one and info can be pretty important but this is super interesting let me just put this one on uh, the chat commands as well add worker 3 patch worker 3 patch 1.29 22 february 2018 hype and then put it in the link. There we go. Warcraft 3 patch. Okay. Torn Chieftain. Faster. Okay. So they're bringing a lot of the strength heroes up in speed. Reduce duration for a reincarnation to occur from 7 to 5 seconds. This is neither a buff nor a nerf. This is just different. I would say it mostly manifests itself as a buff. But not per se. War Stomp. More damage, more damage, more damage. And they didn't change the stun numbers. Nice. So even TC is a little bit buffed in general. Quite a bit. And it may even, and I don't think it does, but maybe he's viable as a first hero. I don't think so, but maybe. And the Shadow Hunter is unchanged. So Shadow right now is a little bit more common as a second hero than a TC, or quite a bit more common. And maybe this makes him a little bit more valid as a second hero, which is interesting. And they mostly addressed War Stomp rather than Shockwave, which is the meta against Elf, where is where you see TC the most. And War Stomp gets played if you were to play him in Orc Mirror, which I think might be valid now. And you use it against Undead, but generally it's been Shadow anyway. Since ETC, since sorry, so since TC gets endurance aura, this movement speed is actually going to be hugely, like really fast. This is so interesting. I hope somehow there are torrent buffs as well. Yeah, well, I'm excited about this. On one day, Hots gets voice chat and Warcraft Three gets 1.29. 
with all this. This is very exciting time to be a Blizzard fanboy. Dreadlord, base speed. Yeah, okay, same change across the board. The Dreadlord is like, I play him a lot, right? If you watch my stream, you know I play Dreadlord a lot. Mauganis, Varimathras. But they're slow, really slow, so this helps. Carrion Swarm. Can now target. Whoa! That's huge. So you can break siege units, okay? It doesn't counter buildings. But you can now kill demolishers. You can now kill siege tanks, which is huge because Dreadlord cannot be picked over Panda against human because you need to be able to kill flying machines and steam tanks. And now with Carrion Swarm, you can do it. This is so exciting. I love Carrion Swarm. And now you can actually have an undead hero in the undead arsenal to counter steam tanks and flying machines. Keep in mind, Carrion Swarm is a fast traveling unit capped spell. I think it hits max six. It hits air and ground. It travels very fast. Pretty good damage. Cost 110 mana. Now 100 and only hits mechanical. Cool. Good change. Really, Dreadlord sees almost no pro play. And almost never has since 2005 or 4. So any buffs are interesting. Cooldown will be down. It's a buff for sleep. The mana cost will go down from 100, 75 and 50. At level 1, 2 and 3 to 80, 65 and 50. Wowie. Wowie. And the duration goes from 20 on normal units and 5 on heroes to 40, 10. Wait, nerf. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Nerf. Okay. The, the nerf is the duration goes from 20 on normal units and 5 on heroes to 15, 4. From 40, 10 to 35, 8. And from 60, 15 to 55 and 12 on heroes. So the reason this is a really huge buff, you can use it more often and it's cheaper, but it doesn't last as long. And the reason this is the right kind of buff, the correct kind of buff, is because newbies and people that find themselves in bad situations will get slept for the full duration infrequently. But pros, who know that you can cancel your, the sleep with your own unit by attacking your own unit that is sleeping, will cancel it quickly. And if you always cancel quickly because you're pro and you don't get caught out of position, then this duration never matters. So none of this really matters. So this is only better on isolated units and newbies, whereas pros, they cancel it, they will un invalidate its value. But now, with sleep being upgraded and buffed, it's better at pro play while being weaker at new play. And that's the exact kind of play you want to do when it never sees pro play, but might be good or dominant at new play, newbie play. Cool. Vampiric Aura, increased bonus for Dreadlo Dreadlord. Wow. I must admit that the healing powers of Death Knight, the movement speed, the healing aura, and the death coil far outstrips healing even for melee because undead only has heroes ghouls and abominations and skeletons that are melee and garks in the air so it's very uncommon to get a lot of healing for your ghouls they're also low health so they're kind of hard to sustain themselves really dreadlord albums is the best synergy but then albums, they're so late game. So you're like going early Dreadlord and then late game you transition from ghouls to albums. It's too linear. You go with tier one melee to tier three melee and it's really linear. Rather, your opponent is gonna counter your ghouls and you're forced to switch to air or, or magic or, or range. So there's definitely merit for Vampiric to be buffed and they do it. 5% more life steal at every level. Crypt Lord, same thing. B bonus movement speed. Carrion beetles. <coughs> Sorry. I need to drink water to make sure that I can keep this up. Wait, increased bonus for Dreadlord? 
that buff is only for Dreadlord himself. Are you sure about that? Yeah. You might be right. You might be right. Huh. It's still good though, because Dreadlord without DK, like first hero or solo hero Dreadlord, always suffers from healing problems as well. If Even if it's only for Dreadlord, I'd still say it's a good change. Yeah, I'm not sure. I would say chat is probably likely to be correct at that, but I'm not sure. Crypt Lord, Anubarak. Faster. And the beetles will be faster and have more health. They go up at 30 life. They get the same 20% movement speed increase. They go up 30 life at level 1. Another 55 at level 2. And 80 at level 3. Keep in mind, these can be burrowed as well. Wow, this is uh, this is cool because Crippler doesn't see any pro play except the very, very, very occasional third hero against the orc. Impale, Impale is a little bit bad at the moment because it it actually makes the opponent's units invulnerable and you lose your target fire on them. And the damage is not that good. It's pretty expensive in mana as well, so any buff is appreciated, I suppose. 25 bonus damage, 40 bonus damage, and 55 bonus damage. I think that's fair. It does make the whole nuking more powerful. Oh yeah, he gets used against human, huh? DK Lich Crypt Lord against human. If human rifle casters. But that's pretty rare, isn't it? Usually human will go like siege tanks, right? And then you need Crypt you need Dreadlord with Carrion Swarm. Interesting. Lich, also faster. Wow. Priestess of the Moon, buff. She will attack more frequently. 0.13 shaved off of her attack cooldown. That's fair. I think she's Taronda. She's kind of the weakest hero in the game. Mostly the same issue with Dreadlord. Taronda and uh, Malganus, they both suffer from the fact that they have an aura that pigeonholes your type of attack. For Taronda, it's range unit. And for Dreadlord, it's melee. If you go them early, uh, like first hero, you will suffer from having to stick with the same path to get the aura to be useful. This is a big deal, this type of attack damage. But then again, she still probably won't be very common as first, I don't think. Keeper of the Groovy. One extra intelligence. Okay, but there's more, so let's see. Adds a 3 second invulnerability to the start of the cast. Okay. I think that's fair because he turns on tranquility and it lasts like a minute or something. But uh, if I just ensnare or hex it, it's gone. It's kind of unfair. At least he gets some healing out of it. it oh, oh it, the duration is 30 seconds. It will only be 15 seconds. But the heal will be doubled. So, okay. So you get the same amount of healing in half the time making it less susceptible to premature cancellation and making it more bursty in terms of its healing. He can start doing new things because it's a full channel. He cannot use any of the other abilities. Okay. I mean, I think that's fair. Like, way back when they designed Warcraft 3, a lot of these things last extremely long. Like, even Warden alt metamorphosis is insane. Yeah, I think that's good changes. This is not very meta anyway, so it is not yet within danger of unbalancing the game. Entangling Roots get nerfed, nerfed at level 2 and 3 on units, but buffed on heroes and damage per sec also buffed. Okay, so let's see. On units, it will do only 18 damage per second at level 2 instead of 24 and 30 per second instead of 36. Yeah, did you know that like an Entangle level 3 just kills a Grunt from full life? Maybe now it won't anymore. I don't know, because it lasts for a long time. On Heroes, it will root for 5 instead of 3 at level 2. I think that's fair. Probably. It's quite strong. But you can invul out of it, so it's not like Stormbolt where you can't do anything. And also, at level 3 it lasts 2 seconds longer. The damage goes up. 
Okay, so... Wait. Oh, this is not damage per second. Sorry. This is the duration. The total duration. It won Tango for 18 seconds on a unit instead of 24. And it won Tango for 30 seconds instead of 36. And then the damage goes up. Okay, so it's the same treatment as Tranquility. More damage over a shorter period of time. Okay. I see. I hope they nerf Demon Hunter, to be honest. And Maev's, uh, sorry, Warden. Warden's level 6 is insane. And Demon Hunter's level 6 and Mana Burn. I hope they look at those. Did look at those. Because it's already been done. I just haven't scrolled there yet. I'm actually afraid to scroll there now. Let's let's do it. Let's scroll down. Force of nature. Trends. More damage. Twelve and a half. That's quick maths for you. No spoilers, chat. Blink. Oh, they didn't change Avatar of Vengeance. But. Blink buff. Level two. But nerf level three. So no longer one second blinks. That's a pretty big deal. The alt is still grotesquely strong but this is a big deal because like blink 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 every one second was pretty crazy uh no nerf to demon hunter yikes so what do we got the grand total is that warden will be a little bit less mobile at level level five or six keeper is more bursty and priestess does more damage but if that's all there is and blade is nerfed then this is really bad for Orc Night Elf. Wait, we don't know about units yet. Okay, sneak peek. Oh no. Oh no. F f the, the, the power of, of War Stomp and Farsight is not enough with the nerf to Blade to keep the matchup against Night Elf balanced. Now, let's... Let's be real. Priestess doesn't get used against Orc, we forget about it. Keeper, very rare. It does get used, but it's rare. Warden does not get used against Orc. So Demon, Beast, Tinker. If Beast or Tinker gets nerfed, we can still see that the matchup may get better. Right now, Elf kind of beats Orc, uh, in my opinion. Though some people may uh, see that differently. Uh, Cluster Orc now attacks air. He got buffed, the Tinker. So that's bad news. Alchemist, Fire Lord. Where's Beastmaster Nerf? Okay. So Demon, Beast, Tinker is the same. And the Tinker got ner uh, buffed. And then all I got to combat it with a weaker blade is a better Farseer, which is bad against Mana Burn anyway. And a better TC with War Stomp. But it's it's shockwave that's the meta maybe now it won't be but i think it will be because you can cast it from further and avoid the mana burn it does get faster but if if let's say if it was 50 50 orc night elf which some night elves will say orc is winning and i as an orc say night elf has a better uh, gambit then it just got tilted to Night Elf, which is kind of sad. Demon Hunter did get nerfed because every hero has a higher movement speed, though. Yeah, yeah, no. He's faster, yes, but yeah, you can dodge mana burn. You can already do that with Ensnare. Not too excited about the lack of Tauren buffs or Shaman buffs, who do not get played right now. Uh, Naga Sea Witch buff on movement speed, movement speed, movement speed, okay. Goblin Alchemist, movement speed. Healing Spray no longer heals enemy units. <laughs> I mean, this was funny as. Funny as. But no longer. Okay, that's a buff to Alchemist. Acid Bomb. Uh, increased damage from 5 to 8. Buff, buff, buff. Increased damage. Buff, buff, buff. Wow. I may just start playing some more Alchemist. 
even if just for fun he's faster healing spray no longer heals enemy you know how huge this is this is like the most buffed hero of the whole patch and he's like low-key op already yeah, the rocket buff doesn't matter too much for the orc knight of matchup by the way because it's mostly pocket factory with uh, goblin engineering this is actually really big buffs to alchemist huge <laughs> huge fire lord i get a lot of donation requests for fire lord by the way on on the warcraft stream so this is going to be impacting people's weekend enjoyment with their tips their stream tips to uh, request Fire Lord, let's see. Increase buff damage multiplier from one to two. Okay, so every consecutive auto attack permanently uh, does one more damage. Well, two more now instead of every one more. Death damage full area from 90 to 120. Death damage half area. Death damage half area from 180 to 240. Duration of two to four. So there's a four second duration of incinerate, which is a when you auto attack something, with incinerate for two seconds they're on fire and every next auto does one more forever just like to run this level seven in hots but now you have a grace period of four to refresh it there'll be a more p painful explosion and more consecutive damage so basically incinerate got way better and similar changes at the next levels soul burn duration on units 14.6 to 167 and more damage more damage and more damage and one second more on every hero and two seconds more on every unit and more damage wow so what i go i i, I go alchemist fire lord against knights of now dark ranger life drain which never gets used by the way increase damage per second up five reduce mana Increase up 5, reduce mana. Increase damage 5, reduce mana. What does Soulburn do again? Soulburn reduces enemy auto attack damage. It prevents them from casting any spells during its duration. And it deals damage over time. So it's a silence. It's a cripple of their auto attack damage. And it's a damage over time. Map pool. So this is the Bnet map pool because I've been playing on W3A. Bnet Maple, TS, PI, TR, Rotus, Stratum, EI, Tyrus Fall, Amazonia, Last Refuge, Floodplains, Twisted Turtle. Whoa, we finally have the competitive map pool on Bnet. Now, the ones that I don't know are RTS, TG. No, I know TG, I think. But I know a four man TG map. And I don't know Floodplains. But I'm willing to try them out now that they're on Bnet. 2v2, a lot of familiar names there. 3v3, 4v4. I'm going to be playing that more as well, actually, uh, when this is on Bnet. FFA. All right. Well, leave your feedback in the thread. This was uh, very exciting and interesting. Let me log in and leave some feedback. Oh, I said Malfurion. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> it it happens. It happens. The more expensive words you use, the more seriously people take you. So you have to make like unimportant constructs like this.
I just wrote my 200 word essay. Oh, it's still there. Maybe it's too long. Luckily, I copy pasta it. So I can just post it later. <laughs> anyway, that's it.